Hello, everyone. My name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to create a checkpoint room, and I'm going to cover, uh, you know, what is required and all that good stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up our texture browser and I am going to grab our texture, the one that I like to use. I'm going to select this wall here and then I'm just going to drag it out here. Let's see. And I want to raise it up one. Awesome. OK, so all we're doing is we're just creating the door uh, because, you know, we kind of do need a door, obviously. And we're going to use a prop door rotating checkpoint. And I'm going to set this to 8. Set it inside of there. Right click, go to properties. Go to world model. Hit browse. Right door. Actually, let's type checkpoint. Okay, so what we want to look for is a checkpoint door of some kind that we like. It can be any, you know. As long as we, you know, like it. All right, so... Let's use this door here, not the static one, but the the non-static one there. And we'll hit OK, and then we'll hit Apply, and you'll see that. Oh, right, yes. You know what? Let's uh, let's uh, casually move up the door, like we knew that it was like that the whole time. And then we're gonna right-click again, go back to Properties, and for the pitch yaw roll for the Z, we're gonna set it to ninety. And I'm going to drag it out just a little bit just to make sure that, uh, yep, all right, we're good. Everything's good. Okay. And now we're just going to slide it back in there. And that should be good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select our, uh, you know, uh, a lot of this will probably be relatively simple for everyone because, you know, you've done this many times before. And then we're going to select the cut tool or shift X. And I'm just going to select this portion right here. And we're going to hit shift X until both sides are white. And I'm just going to hit enter. And then I am going to go over here. I'm going to hit enter again. And now you can see we have everything kind of, you know, nice and easily broken up there. Now we could you know, just cut this, but I'm actually just going to remove it. And then I'm just going to recreate a brush. Uh, I'm going to drag this up. We're going to, we're going to clean it up here in a little bit. Don't worry. And then I'm going to hit enter. Awesome. And we now have our door, which <laughs> does not match at all. And we're going to go back into our entities and we're going to create another prop static. And I'm going to Try to place it inside the door there. Drag it up some. Awesome. And we're going to go into the world model. And we're going to look for the door frame for uh, dash 02, which is right here. And for the, uh, the yaw, we're going to set it to 90. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, wait. It's fine. It's fine. It's just... Way off centered there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna lower the grid way down, and I'm gonna try to get this to match up. And I'm gonna select both of them, and what I really want to happen here is I want to make sure that it's, you know, kind of like in the floor and so forth. And now I'm gonna set the grid to four. And we're just going to, you know, back it up ever so slightly. And I'm just going to go up here. Okay. And now I'm just going to set it to one. And I'm just going to kind of set it to where it just ever, ever, ever so slightly uh, goes inside of the mesh. Okay, and now I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna set the grid snap back to 16. And there we go. So now we have our door, and 
if we have to we can always uh flip it as well which we shouldn't have to do uh but should be fine okay so now that we've made our checkpoint room what exactly do we need in order to you know have a room that will transition to the next room so there's some very important requirements number one we need a door and specifically it needs to be a checkpoint door we have that uh the other thing that we need is an info change level and an info landmark so what we're going to do is i'm going to put in info change uh info ah right info change level is a uh a brush entity right isn't that nice so i forgot about that all we need to do at this point is oh, you know what let's let's place the landmark first okay so we're gonna place the landmark i'm gonna put it right here uh kind of in the center-ish of the room eh, let's move it forward ever so slightly and just off the floor okay perfect so uh the i'm checking my notes and stuff here uh the info landmark will need to be named you know the same uh in both levels so uh, i'm gonna call this landmark underscore change level one i suppose okay and now what we're gonna do is we are going to make a new um brush and it's gonna fill the room uh so we're gonna search for the trigger texture for a tools trigger and we're just going to fill the room and we're going to hit enter and now we are going to right click and then we're going to hit control sorry we're going to hit control t and we're going to call it a info change level and we're going to hit apply and for the landmark name we're going to pick landmark change level one we're going to hit apply and then we can give it a name and we can also give it a map name now for right now actually you know what i actually do know the name of the level so let's call it youtube nav tutorial 2 and that will be the new map that we're going to create that we're going to jump to um so we can go ahead and do that and because what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to save this level and then we're just kind of kind of reverse it and then just walk the other direction so that we can, uh, you know, swap around and all that good stuff. OK, so uh, now that this is this is all we need, uh, obviously, of course, now we need nav meshes and we need to set up the second level and so forth. But let me go back and explain really quick the requirements to creating a uh, a checkpoint or, you know, the actual transition. So the first thing you need is a checkpoint door. You need the info change level brush entity. You need the info landmark. You obviously need the destination level and you need the nav area to actually be created. We haven't created the nav area yet, which is why I haven't bothered to make the second level, but we will do that. And then the next thing that we need for the destination level, you need a checkpoint door, much like what we have. You need the landmark, which we have, and it needs to be named exactly the same. And then you need a nav area labeled with checkpoint. So in level one, you always use player start, but in all subsequent levels, you use checkpoint to checkpoint until it's the last level, and then you do checkpoint to finale. And we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that later. Uh, not too concerned about that right now. Um, and so we have now done uh, everything. So this is all we need. Uh, this is you know our tutorial. Uh, it's done. Yay. Uh, so now we can finally get to nav meshes, which is what everyone has been asking for for ages. And I'm really excited that it's like, yay, we're done. We can finally do it. Awesome. 
So I will see you all in the next one. And in the next tutorial, we're going to make nav meshes and they're going to be beautiful and amazing. And we'll finally have some zombies to kill and we'll be able to get to the end level and then go back and then do the finale. So stay tuned and I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel and the work that I do, you can join me over at Patreon or you can become a YouTube member. You can get early access to videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.